we are focusing on environmental science uh, basically we have to discuss here environmental ecology biodiversity and climate change uh, before beginning of discussion actually uh, i must uh, give you certain idea about the subject and what is the aim that this topic is there in our syllabus number 1 that uh, we are living on this nice planet that is earth and many people on this earth they are behaving like this is our last generation on earth we are utilizing each and every possible resource that we are aware for our benefit and because of that the environment is troubled let us aware that we are troubling our environment and as you are going to become at some level an officer you should create the environment that is clean and uh, the most important thing that our generations i am using word generations should sustain on this earth now we are doing that for that purpose we are entering deeper in the science uh, so i must say the first thing that what is environment as the word we are using again and again that simple thing whatever is surrounding us that is called as an environment say for example i am uh, delivering this lecture in my classroom so here my classroom is also part of my environment right now my hands they are there on podium so podium that is made up of wood that is also part of this environment whereas uh, you are observing me because of camera that camera that is also part of environment apart from that several microorganisms are there in this room as well as on my body and inside my body they are also part of this environment and what not so simply uh anything rest of you that is called as an environment now here obviously two factors we have to consider they are most important they are biotic factors and uh, that is called as uh abiotic factors now what is meaning of biotic factors so what that microorganisms biotic factor what this camera abiotic i am using podium that is made up of wood so origin is biological that is wood so biotic factor like that various factors apart from that certain physical things say temperature pressure humidity that all thing comes we have to consider that is consisting of environment now uh in city we have environment that is called as man made environment whereas uh in natural side or say jungles oceans where man made environment is not there that is actually nature environment now uh we have a concept of ecosystem you are aware that everybody is depending upon other Though we are saying we are independent, but no practically answer is no. No person in this world is independent. Say I require oxygen to breathe. That is given out by plant. You may argue that not plants from Mumbai, but uh, from other part may be possible. Say uh, our globe that Earth is spherical. and we receives many thing that earth is not following boundaries that man made boundaries political boundaries no uh, say for example uh, 
in sea or oceans try to recollect our geography lecture uh, we are saying about continental plain then continental slope in that territory phytoplankton are and these phytoplankton they are releasing out oxygen constant it is said that if all jungles on this land we are destroyed then also we are supposed to get sufficient oxygen because of this phytoplankton they are under the sea under the ocean and we are not able to control out that uh, anyway but uh, this is the thing that i require oxygen that is obtained from environment i require water you may say that water is given by a stream yes but that is ultimately environment so i have to depend on stream i have to depend on the river or anything else any source rainfall is ultimate like that we require food that is obtained from certain plants or if you are non vegetarian that means carnivorous category then obtained from certain animals microorganism even say spirulina that is name of microorganism that is uh, called as actually cyanobacteria but uh, earlier days we are calling that as cyanobacteria uh, that uh, as blue green algae so we are obtaining food from that so anything but we require other thing to get food and now we are depending upon each other you are aware of food chain and food web i hope uh, this lecture should not explain what is food chain and food web but uh, say everybody is depending upon other uh, we can have that simple example that rat that is consuming grass uh, sorry uh, that grain now grain that is wet source so they are called as producer then the rat that is primary consumer snake is eating rat secondary consumer then and so on like that so uh, ultimately that whatever the animal may be it is snake or may be it is eagle that eating out snake that is undergoing uh, after death undergoing decay process scavengers are there they are returning water material taken by these animals that all part i hope uh, you are aware i am not going in that detail right now so here uh, we are saying environment is this all surrounding now in that certain things certain factors are depending upon each other there are relations say for example if i am removing out leopard tiger and uh, all that predator category animals from an jungle ecosystem then what is the thing that herbivorous animal will become outnumbered that means for maintaining ecosystem whatever the probability is shown by these predators but predators are required like that systems are there in water system also that aquatic or marine that is also having same thing and so everybody is depending upon each other now we have to discuss that the interaction or the relationship between these living animals the branch is called as ecology so first part we are discussing that is environmental ecology in that we discuss what is environment and what is ecology now you are aware of this all now we are there we means uh, the most advanced animal we are calling that as man or we should say human beings are there to destroy this environment according to environmental science view now it is not necessary that always we are going to destroy only but uh, whatever the destructions we have to discuss for our interaction our early life was something different when we were living like ancient man somewhere 10000 or 15000 years ago at that time our technology was not that advanced to damage out environment we were using fire but not that to extend that environment is damaged because of our use of that fire but 
after certain period and most important thing after industrial revolution we start using tremendous energy as a result use of energy increased and the pollution generated from that that also started increasing out affecting uh, not only pollution but several factors responsible for this uh, energy gaining several factors are there they are responsible for degradation